Site Curated is an annual exhibition curated by the five student directors. Where We Are shares how artists in the SIC community have shifted their creative practices from product-oriented working to an investigation of what it means to do the work. Locality has gained new meaning, informing the material, context, and scale of the work. Artists have switched to mediums easily manipulated from home, found materials, collected scraps, and improvised with everyday household materials. Isolation, intimacy, monotony, and uncertainty have all informed daily and artistic life. In situating these artists' work in a spatial conversation, this exhibition reflects the experimentation, resilience, and compassion that has generated such new and necessary intentionality. As we surpassed one year living in lockdown, we consider how our art, thoughts, and spaces have adapted to living in a pandemic. How have we changed? In this new context, we've reckoned with the notion of productivity. What does making look like in the privacy of our homes? How have we adapted our processes and what new values have we discovered? We start our tour with the outside wall of the gallery that features a vibrant curtain of ribbons. These ribbons, acting as a vessel for the artist's emotions, interact with the intimate spaces of her childhood home. Stepping into the gallery, we encounter dumbbells made of beeswax that feature prints of, from Russian folk art drawing parallels between the artist's now modified art practice and the work of the honeybee. In social isolation, our relationships have become all the more important. These express the vital importance of familial relationships and friendships during the pandemic. While some artists reflect on continued relationships, others reflect on loss. This homemade loom holds objects of significance related to the artist's loved ones whom they've lost or have been separated from. Alongside relationships, artists spend time developing their thoughts about new interactions with intimate spaces such as reflecting on the past and the future and ideas of home and homeland. Our reflections have also turned toward our relationships with intimate objects, such as our mattresses, where many have recently spent time being idle, isolated, or sometimes ill. Even though there are many things we miss, we have also found new sources of happiness, fleeting moments of joy between ourselves and our family members, even during our time apart. These fleeting moments also open up the possibility to create something new from the mundane giving us time to habitually explore punctuation, attentiveness, and readiness. With so many of us lacking in connection, seeking different modes of communication, in this case, letters to an imaginary friend have become a way for us to communicate.
the time alone also makes way for introspective thinking and a return to older works to produce new works. Lack of connection also manifests into lack of resources, forcing artists to make do with found objects from home. This work is a product of the artist's resourcefulness and using found fiber materials around their home, as well as from nature. The beauty of found objects is that they come from anywhere, even a furry cat. Thus, we are able to create beautiful things, like a newly designed shelf, to fit in our immediate surroundings. And we take things from our immediate surroundings and make them new vessels with infinite possibilities. All in all, we may look up and dream of the other sky, our other homes, our other possibilities, and we may be constantly thinking of where we are not, but we must also remember that where we are now, physically, mentally, and emotionally, matters all the same. Thank you for visiting Site Galleries. Please visit our online exhibition catalog for more information on the show and the artworks. And remember, wherever you are, we wish you well.